I'm Jessie Allender, registered dietitian, professional chef, and mom. Uh, we're here at home um, on this eve of Pesach uh, during the coronavirus lockdown and quarantine, and we're going to be making um, a traditional uh, Pesach relish um, called charoset. Coco, what is charoset? It it represents the the um the 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 um the thing that the thing that um holds it together the bread when they when they when they were building this and slaves in Egypt. So when we were slaves in Egypt, this karoset is meant to represent the mortar that stuck the bricks together. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you know about it, Martin? I know. I know. I know. I know. Uh, what's the part from the... Yes. Yeah. yeah, we're going to go ahead and cut the, the apples while Martin's talking. Uh, what's up, Martin? Uh, um, I'm the prince of Egypt. I'm uh -huh. the prince of Egypt. Yeah? Uh, the, 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 the slaves, the slaves. I'll put it down the flat. The slaves, the slaves. Put it down flat. Put your thumb up here. Your thumb. Okay. Your thumb. Oh. Put your thumb. Mm -hmm. And then twist. Mommy. Good job. I use a melon baller to take the seeds out of apples, and I'm teaching my kids how to do it. Pull up a little bit. There we go. So one. Let's go again, and then Martin will have a turn after you. Okay. So put it flat on the apple, put your thumb on top of it, push down, and then twist. Okay, okay. Good. Now it's my turn. Now well, Martin, my what turn. were you saying about the um about our about in the in the movie you watched? What did uh, you learn? Uh uh uh, the, uh apple. the the slaves. The slaves. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 uh. Martin's turn. One of the slaves. One of the slaves. Uh-huh. Uh, and his name, his name, I don't know his name, actually, so. Was it Moses? No. Oh, okay. It's Martin's turn. Martin, do you want to take a turn? Okay, let's let Martin do it. Here we go. You ready, Martin? Put your thumb on it. Good job. Coco, do you want to do the last one? Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Put it down. Let's put all of them upside down. Mm -hmm. There was one more. No. There was one more. Was that one? Nope, we got them all. Where is it? Where's the one? Where's the one that we already did? Where's the one that we already did? Coco, yeah. Coco got them all. Okay, we're going to get the little bits of apple out. So the ingredients in charoset, what goes into charoset, Coco? Um, walnuts, and grapefruit, and honey. And, do it. yeah, do it. I'm going to eat an apple. Nope, those aren't pretty, nope, nope, wrong part. Nope. This way, let's do it hand over hand. We're going to go in, we're going to make a triangle, flip it over, and get it out. Okay, okay really careful, because you're going towards your hand. Nope, that's the wrong, it's facing away from you. That's not where you want to be. This way. Go in. Look, I just did that! No, you did the other side. There we go. Good. Okay, let me clean I up the scraps. That. Okay. Don't, don't put them back together, Martin. Don't play with the knife. It is fun cooking with kids, but you do need to be careful, right? This is called a minger. Is that called a minger? Yeah. You ming with it. Okay. It's so called a minger because 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 you ming with it. You ming you ming you 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 ming the things that you need need to ming. You you ming okay. apples. You ming apples. You you ming you ming. You also make honey. Okay, so let's move on to the and next step. And you make coconuts. What are those, Martin? What are those? 
Or Coco, what are these? Coco, what are these? Walnuts. Walnuts. So how much walnuts do we need? And you also and you also do it to walnuts and grape juice. Mm -hmm. What's up, bunny? Are you done? Okay. Should we pour the walnuts into the into the bowl? Oh. Nope, not that one, honey. Here, Coco, no, would you I pour these walnuts into the bowl? No, I was just it. I was just following it. Into the it. little silver bowl? I was following it. I'm following them. I'm following them. That should be enough. I'm yes, of course. I volo I'm following them. Martin, would them. you like a walnut? I followed them. With, that you followed them? Yeah. Can I have my spoon? Mom, can I have an apple? Not right now. We're going to chop up the apples. I want an apple! Yeah, I get that. Can I do it with the tiny knife? Nope, we're not going to do it with the tiny knife. We're going to chop them up. So this is a wooden uh, chopping bowl, and I've got my round knife here. What's the other thing that we have? I want to call with the round knife. I want to call okay, with the round knife. Okay, you can cut with the round knife, but... I want to call with the okay, round well, knife. Okay, you can do it. Let's not Give fight about anything. Me. Give that to me. Okay, let's put the nuts in here. Well, let's start with an apple. Yeah. And what I like to do is to break up the apples chop, a little chop, bit first, so I'm going to do chop, that, and chop, then we can chop, chop them. Chop. Chop the board. Chop. 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 Okay. Chop, chop, chop. And then we're going to take turns doing the round knife. Here, here, Coco, will you take the first turn? I want to take the first turn. Okay, let's let Coco have a turn. Here you go, bunny. Hold the bowl, keep your fingers out of the way, and chop away. Can we? Good I'm job. Oh, this. you're a natural. I'm going to do the honey. Okay, you can do the honey after a little bit. We we'll have to chop the big part. We're chopping the chopping bowl. Another tool you can use is a press chopper. Okay. So I'm going to do that over here to get Coco a head start. Oh, no. Coco's chopping all of them. Yep. You want to take a turn at this one, Coco? It's okay, a Martin. Cool knife. Let's do this one together. Oh, good job, Coco. Here, let's do it together, Martin. Go it's ahead. It's a cool knife. Okay. Good job. Why are we all doing knives? Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we've got here. Good enough. Good enough. Let's get that. This one didn't get chopped up, so we're gonna get that in there. Go ahead. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Let's get another one. No, it's going be honey. No, not yet, bud. Why? I'm going to chop it up a little bit, and then Coco, will you have at it again? Mm -hmm. Can we put the honey in this bowl? We can. Let me get these other apples in there. Go ahead, Coco. Get it all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Just down. Good job. Okay. Good, good, good. Chop away. Crazy chopping. Crazy chopping. Just keep chopping. Oh, yeah. We're having fun here. Here's the honey. You're a natural, Martin. You're a natural. I'm going to do the honey. Do you like the rosette, Martin? Yeah. Good job. Good job. But no one likes the bed one more. Okay, let's put the honey in. I'm putting, I'm putting the honey in. Can I put these together? Yep, I just need a little bit more chopping. Here, let me help you a little bit. Watch your fingers. 
I don't even know if it is. Okay, I'm going to help out a little bit carefully. I don't like putting the rest of it into a Cuisinart because I think it gets too um, pasty, which I mean, I guess it's supposed to be a paste, but I still like it to be a chunky relish. It's sticky enough. Okay, let's get that in there. Now it's time to do the honey. Now it's time to do the honey and the nuts. There's the nuts. Now the thing about the nuts is if you chop really hard or really fast, they fly out of the bowl. So you have to start by going slowly. Ow. Sorry. I'm going to do honey. You're going to do the honey. Whoops. Like that. No, I didn't do it. It's okay. Oh, that's a good amount of honey. Yeah. Now we're not going to do a mix it. Well, we got to wait till the nuts are get it, get in there. Okay. Is that why we're going to mix it? But we do need to put a little salt. You want to put a little salt? Yeah. Just a shake. Two shakes. Shake, shake. I like a little salt in my throat sits. All right. It looks all chopped up. Yeah. It's good and chopped. Coco, now we have turn. to put it in the other bowl. It is all chopped up. But they look already chopped all up. Well, they gotta be small, small pieces. And Coco did a great job. When you cut it, I can see the inside. Oh, what does it look like? It looks like white pears. Yeah, and do you guys know what a, a walnuts are really good for you? Do you know what they have in them? What? One of mom. What? Vitamin D. Vitamin D? They have a little vitamin D. But the other thing that I like a lot, to, especially for everybody to have, that walnuts have, is uh, omega-3s. Omega-3s three? is a great choice. Do they hide, do they hide okay, inside the sugar? Do they hide inside the sugar? Uh, they do not hide inside the sugar. They hide inside the oil. They hide inside the oil. That's where the omega-3s Now I'm going to mix it. I'm going to mix it. Okay, let's take turns. Let's take turns. Oh, oh turns. she had first. Oh, Coco. Remember, we're taping. Now it's your turn, Bossy Head. Oh, ah, uh, my children are perfect in every way. Okay, Coco, will you add the juice? We just need a splash of juice. I want to do... You did this, the honey and the salt, so Coco's going to do what the if, juice. But, but after her... Can, can it That's be enough. two turns of the dirt? I want to do some. And Martin, you can do the cinnamon. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your cinnamon. Shake your cinnamon. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your cinnamon. When you remember when we made it. Yeah, I do. We made it. Can I have a stir? And your beautiful carosa. Absolutely. Enjoy your Pesach, everybody. Thanks so much. Carosa. Right.